Hey, good morning, guys. Um, I don't think I've done a Thursday's Thoughts. Maybe I did it the week before, but I don't think I did it last week. I may not have even done it the past two weeks in a row. Um, at least, I think, definitely the other day I didn't do it. Um, we can go through quite a bit uh, health-wise. I mean, I'm... It's not that I'm really keeping it hush hush or anything like that. Um, just uh, been feeling very low on energy lately. Um, working out here and there when I when I feel up to it. Like I said, I just I've been extremely low on energy, sore, achy, things like that. And this has been off and on for months. Um, of course, you know, I mean, from the time I got out of the hospital and I started taking insulin, I started putting on quite a bit of weight, which I know that in some, to some degree that's to be expected until you get things leveled out. And, um, until you get some things leveled out and then I heard usually maybe 20 pounds, but I've came more than 20 pounds. I... Went from about 189, and the other day at the doctor's it said I was about 247, and it's just been very frustrating for me personally, because, I mean, I was so used to working out, you know, at least walking, lifting weights, doing little things like that. But even just mowing the lawn, weed eating, stuff like that to me is a chore. Um, I'm out here right now doing some gardening, you know, just so I have a little physical activity. Um, just pruning some stuff, pruning the rose bushes. I'm going to prune the blackberry a little bit. Some of the dead stuff that I know that some of the old growth that I know things aren't going to be coming back on. Because there's a lot of branches that stuff is coming back on. New branches too, even. Um, cutting some herbs, some Greek oregano, some mint, things like that. I uh, want to get ready and cover those, uh, with some netting actually. Um, try to prevent them from getting eaten. But just little tiny things, just exhausting, uh, mentally taxing as well. I, um... Still doing the Mediterranean diet. I don't want to say diet. Talk about like a meal plan. <laughs> Just eating normally or how people used to normally eat. Um, making sure I get all my good fats, my protein, you know. Um, kind of like the lighter proteins like fish, chicken, beans, things like that. But uh, like I said, I just I've been packing on more weight. And it just, it's like a vicious cycle. I was telling my doctor the other day, and I wanted to be able to do all this on my own, but there might be some other stuff going on. Um, now, I mean, you could say what you want to say. Um, I ain't got time for no criticism or anything like that. Or, well, destructive criticism. Um, I'm definitely open to at least listening, whether I agree or not, you know, it may change my mind later down the road when it comes to constructive criticism. Um, you know, I never thought that I would be on, well, my endocrinologist and then my regular doctor said that I should take Ozempic, which I've had my reservations about for months and months, um. I've heard good things, bad things, everything in between. Um, I used to take Victoza, and I took that for two years, and I didn't really have any issues there, and it's kind of close to the same thing. So um, I'm hoping that I don't really have too many issues um, with that. And I'm also on something else. Oh, gosh, what is it? It's supposed to curve your appetite. Um starts with a P, P-H. Oh, goodness, I can't even think of the name of it right now. But uh, I 
I want to say I started feeling some effects about an hour after I took it this morning. It made me feel very anxious. Um, on there, it's labeled as panic. <laughs> I don't know if you start getting panic because you feel anxious, but uh, that just, I've had that feeling before, um, not while taking anything, but um, I don't know. It, it was like almost like I was in a free fall, like on a roller coaster. And, you know, my heart wasn't racing. I went to check my blood pressure, things like that. Everything was good uh, heart, heart wise. Um, I don't know. Just started feeling very anxious. So, uh, anyway, I got up, started doing stuff, talked to my wife about it. And then I just thought, well, maybe you just, you need to get up and you need to start doing stuff. And, um, I didn't really read it until after I, I took it and everything, the bottle or anything like that, but I was looking up online, uh, little side effects. It said that it is a, uh, controlled substance. So I'm like, Oh my Lord, <laughs> I'm not going to be taking this, uh, until after I get through driving my son to school or something like that. My goodness. Uh, but I don't, I don't know. It seems like the effects are starting to wear off now. But I just don't like that anxious feeling. It's, I don't know. I don't like it. But <sighs> I'm trying to make the best of everything. Um, this is just a whole myriad of things that I'm kind of, I don't know if there's such a term like a video dump or information dump. I'm just laying a lot of things out right now uh, that's going on with me. Um between the Ozempic, between that, I'm still taking my insulin, of course. I'll always be taking insulin unless there's a cure. But I could almost guarantee, even if there is a 100% cure, you're going to need to have some money for that. So, um, anyway, she, want, she wanted me to, um, I went down to get some lab work done this morning to get some blood work done, um, to have a thyroid blood panel to make sure, uh, I'm okay there. Um, sometimes type one diabetics can end up having thyroid problems too. Um, just when you're from the antibodies and your immune system starts attacking your thyroid, you can get Hashimoto's disease, Crohn's disease, uh, Oh my, 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 <laughs> but, uh, I don't know, at least if I know what could also be, be causing the excessive weight gain, uh, that's something I want to try to tackle and find out. Um, it's just difficult to do a lot of stuff without getting easily tired, uh, going to bed early or sometimes, you know. Don't even have to lay down. I could be just sitting on the couch, you know, in the evening, early, early in the evening or in the middle of the day, and I can fall asleep at the drop of a hat. All I have to do is just lean my head back and, you know, um, I mean, it's not a simple, oh, try this, try that. It's, it, or it could be a try this, try that. I don't know, but there's like, it's very complex. And there's lots of different wheels, sprockets, whatever, that are in play here. And all I could do is eat correctly, get some physical activity, whatever I can, as much time as I can, and just pretty much take it from there. Uh, take it one day at a time. I mean, Amongst everything that's going on, yeah, I have my moments that of like disparity. Um, I don't want to say depression per se, but just disparity, frustration. Um, and then I have other moments to where it's like, you know what, I am truly blessed because I'm still here. I'm still here for my family, and I want to continue to be here for my family. Um, Lord willing, the next 30 years. Lord willing. Um, there's no guarantees of that. So that's why um, 
I got to try to make each and every day, each and every week, each and every month count for something. And uh, show them how much they're appreciated, how much I love them. And uh, yeah, it's just, uh, just really frustrating. The thyroid issue could be the cause for the excessive weight gain. Um, she also mentioned sleep apnea, which I, I mean, I've gained an excessive amount of weight. And <laughs> she actually had stated, she goes, you have a thick neck, don't you? I'm like, well, yeah, I kind of have a thick neck. And you know, thanks for bringing it up. <laughs> no neck, thick neck. Um, yeah, maybe if I shave and I got down back to the 180s, I would have somewhat of a neck, <laughs> but, uh, I, um, I'm trying to remain positive about this. And like I said, sometimes it is difficult and I just, I got to keep pushing. Cause that's all I can do is keep pushing, keep trying and not ready to give up. Definitely not ready to give up. Um, but, uh, like I said, my blood sugar numbers have been just very wonky out of whack. I mean, anything from eating, uh, you know, I know a lot of people's going to put their two cents in. Oh, you don't need to be eating oatmeal. Okay. The bowl of Cheerios. Eh, right now, not going to happen. Bowl of oatmeal, not going to happen. Um, they I want you to eat some bacon. <laughs> Uh, see, the thing is, too, with meat, fats, protein, eventually those turn into sugars, too. And insulin is a fat-storing hormone. Um, like I said, I feel like I'm caught up in this vicious cycle, and I hope to get things figured out by summer. That would be awesome, get things figured out by summer. But I'm going to do whatever I can on my part. And hopefully the doctors will do everything they can on their part. I'm not going to solely rely on them, but I'm also going to do my part. And if I don't feel right about something, then I'm going to stop taking something. Um, I'll find another way. Whatever it takes, you know. Um, but this month is... Oh, man. <laughs> I have... Uh, see, I had lab works done today. And then in a few more days, I have the eye doctor, my diabetic eye doctor. I usually see them about once a year. Go get my eyes checked. Then, uh, oh, good night. What else? My foot doctor. And then I'll go back to see my regular doctor around the 12th, get my test results. Um, unless she calls me beforehand, that's usually not a good sign, <laughs> but, uh, I'll, uh, definitely, I'll go back to see her. What else do I got? That part might be it for this month. And then I'll go back to see my endocrinologist at the beginning of next month, go for labs, uh, right before, right beforehand, right before the beginning of next month. So... Just pray for me. Keep me in your prayers, guys. Uh, that would be much appreciated. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.